So the patch is actually removing the Kenismund finalized check. So it, it is never going to do that check anymore. The variable does not ex even exist anymore. And it does all the logic straight forwardly. So now they've got a different way of doing it. So they are never relying on detecting if the Kenismund is finalized or uh, because they are not trusting that information. And so they are not use, using this validation at all. And what they are doing instead is they start the list always from the beginning. So what problem is the past trying to avoid? So before on the left, we can see the vulnerable code that we had were checking the enhancement. And if it was finalized, it was setting a Boolean. And then later, depending on the Boolean, it was either taking the flame pointer or if the flag was set previously, it would take the enhancement head. So that was not deterministic. But now what we see is that we're not doing any check anymore in the patch code. So we're not going to test the finalized flag early and then do an assumption later. We're just going to always deterministically take the head of the list. And so technically it's less efficient, but we are trying to avoid the fact that in the vulnerable code, if when we're testing the flag, it wasn't finalized yet, but later it happens to be finalized in between, then we would go into this state where it would just take a fling pointer, which is not valid because there is a time of check, time of use problem basically. And in the patch code, it is always going to take the deterministic method, which is less efficient, but more secure.